Project Blue Bean, baby. Projecting things for you to see. We live in a society where you're not exactly sure whether what you see is actually what you see or what you see is fake. Is it real? Is it fake? Bruh. Bruh, I don't know. We got problems on our hands. Everywhere you turn, this technology is really a problem in the wrong hands. For example, let us take a look at this one. Look at this. Outside the Game Awards 2023. Now, you would think you would need some type of screen. I don't see any screen. This is projected into the sky. Can you imagine what would happen if this crap was projected over a city and nobody understood that this was possible? In fact, listen to what the crowd is saying. How was that even being done? What is going on? Outside the Game Awards 2023. People will lose their damn minds. Woo. Outside the Game Let's Awards 2023. Woo. Woo! Let's cheer for the greatest deception. Rolling out technological deception. Woo! It's awesome. Woo! It's awesome. Come on, bro. Come on. That's just one example of it, man. Watch this. Watch this. Hashtag Project Blue Beam. I'm going to click it. It's everywhere. All over the place, man. Watch this. No, I want to see what the Negro say. This is about to be funny. Planet Nibiru, bro. That's yeah. Planet Nibiru. That's not the moon. It's not the sun. That's Planet Nibiru. We're fucked. This would be real. Like, anybody know about this? Like, it is extremely real. This is definitely Planet Nibiru, not the sun. Y'all better wake up because it's coming. No damn planet Nibiru. That's them projecting something in the sky. That's why they. No hold filter. on, hold on. Stop this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. This is what y'all don't seem to understand. When they roll out a psychological operation and they have you and they have everybody on a topic like Project Nibiru or this or that, and then you see something like this. Understand, that's a part of the PSYOP. Point blank, period. That's just all it is. If that was a planet that was that close to our atmosphere or that close to us, it would have affected gravity. The same dude who was sitting there saying, that's planet Nibiru, we're screwed. No, Negro, you be dead. That's how you know it's not planet Nibiru. You be dead, Negro. All kind of weird stuff will be happening all around you. But yet you walking around recording it with a cell phone. You don't think that there will be tsunamis all over the place. You don't. I mean, you don't. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. I'll be trying not to go Sam Jackson. Help me. Well, good evening from Calgary. The red sun in between the skyscrapers downtown where I happen to be right now. Wow. May we get some rain. Jackass. Here's another example of it. You know what I'm saying? Just the only point I'm making, man. That might be CGI over a video because ain't nobody reacting to none of that. If that was, if that was Project Bluebeam, 
and it was projected in the sky. Ain't nobody riding in traffic like that, homie. Unless there was an, an announcement that, hey, we doing an experiment. You know what I'm saying? Look at this crap. Look at this. This is what kills me about. No. That's some things that came for the skinny leg Latinas right there. That might be real. That took a lot of skinny leg Latinos the last time. That might be the real deal. There might not be no Project Blue Beam. That might be them coming to get some more of them skinny leg Latinas. Where is this at? Now, some shit you shouldn't be recording either. Some stuff you should just be getting the hell up out of the way of. I mean, some stuff you should not be recording. It don't make no sense to record. It just don't make no sense to record it. What the hell is that? Fucking hell is that? Yeah, what the hell is that? I'm out here on Coronado fucking island. I don't know how well you can see that. Bro, if that don't look like... That's in the fucking sky. Above the ocean. What the fuck is that? Stop cursing. That's a trip. Even though that's a genuine reaction. What the hell is that? You know what that looked like? That looked like that thing of Harry Potter. Remember Harry Potter? They had them things flying through there. What in the Harry Potter is that? That's what that looked like. Some off damn Harry Potter. Oh, Rumble hit me back. That looked like something off Harry Potter. Now, I'm not going to attribute this to Project Blue Beam. I don't think that's Project Blue Beam. I think something done escaped Hogwarts and it's over the ocean. Huh. Something done left Hogwarts. I'm sorry. Something done left Hogwarts. This is in a concert. <laughs> Down, so they won't be like, oh, we copyright you because you got their music. And everybody's like, oh, this is fascinating. This is awesome. This is amazing. Oh my God, get your phone out. Let's record it. Oh my goodness. I'm so, it's so awesome. We definitely know this project Blue Beam in China because they be messing with people in China clean. Feel it all, it's a sushi. Translate, what the hell is that? Oh, we need to get out of here. No, we're going to record it. What you call me? What you call me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I be acting so stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What the hell? Bro? Oh, that's good old-fashioned chemtrails right there. That's good old-fashioned chemtrails right there. Okay, what the hell is that flying right there? That's genuine UAP ultra terrestrial interterrestrial beings. No need to look at that. Either Hogwarts or I don't think they had nothing like that at Hogwarts. Yeah, it ain't had nothing like that at Hogwarts. Somebody else gonna say that's blurry. It's blurry with all the with all the technology we have today. How come we can't get a better photograph or video of it? It's blurry. It's blurry. That really do look like a jellyfish, jellyfish flying in the sky, but it's blurry. It's blurry. Clearly, Project Blue Beam is a real thing. How about this? How about we just go see if they got any documents on Project Blue Beam? 
while we are at it. I will be right back. Don't worry. The Stank Onion is not leaving you. I am not going anywhere. I'll just be right back. A few moments later. All right, I'm back. And yes, there is a lot of stuff out there about what would the mathematics that would lead to Project Bluebeam. So if the question is, even though we've seen evidence of it, the question is, is it possible for there to be a Project Bluebeam or is it a conspiracy theory? Uh, it ain't no damn conspiracy. The terminology Project Blue Beam, when you do a deep dive into it, which I just did, maybe to, uh, I've been gone maybe 15 minutes. They, they made it synonymous with the overall theory that 3D holograms would be used to um, to stage an alien invasion. So when you say Project Blue Beam, they rolled it into a conspiracy theory or labeled it as conspiracy theory to say that the the following steps need to happen for project blue beam let me see for a second if i can actually still find that document with um whoa look at that look at that foolishness right there that's crazy um But nonetheless, all real heady, sciencey, mathematically stuff that we're not going to dive super deep into. I read it, um, and I, I think the main part is here. Well, I'm not, not necessarily think I know the main part is here. Um, basic principles, principles of a hologram. We don't need to touch into that. What we need to do is get towards the end of this report calculating uh the hologram um using the computer to simulate diffraction none of that matters that's the math part when you get to what 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 i'm up sorry applications and prospect of hologram application of hologram holograms have many uses in art science and technology such as the following copper crabs Use 3D Max or C4D modeling software to obtain 3D model of copper crafts. Import to obtain 3D models into Adobe After Effects software for processing and making the holographic projection of copper crafts. This is get that is get the hologram of a copper craft, which is conductive to the collective of copper crafts data. Basically saying that you can use 3D Max to use After Effects to project this onto video. So that means that covers what people call, oh, you're using CGI. Well, really, it's CGH. But you'll see people saying, oh, that's fake. That's CGI. No, it's CGH. But anyway, transmission holographic projector. The principle of holographic projection technology, holographic project projection technology belongs to a a presentation method of 3D technology, which originally originally refers to technology of recording and reproducing the real three-dimensional image of an object by using a principle of interference and diffraction, regardless of whether where the lasers and hologram plate are placed in a transmission holographic projector. They are placed at the same distance and angle. Turn on the laser, and you will get the exact copy of the original image. Um, which is seen as a virtual image. So if you guys remember, I just a while ago, I did Operation Black Sun and it just goes to show you where the technology is. That story is true. That story is the at this point in time, it's close to being the most vetted story. Um, buying trouble is quickly rising above that in the, the ability that I have to vet it. But nonetheless, in that story, I talked about how they had hologram projectors that projected their screens in front of them, but they were able to actually interact with that hologram and use it as a computer is sitting here. Now, I can get a, a hologram projector keyboard and project the keyboard here and do this and type as of right now. In fact, I was able to do that 10 years ago because I had one. So when you start talking about the advancements in technology, you don't have access to it. I don't have access to it. But there are people who have access to hologram technology where they can move 
They can display an image of your heart or your body in the air and move it from here and here and spread and open and do all the rest of it. The closest thing that we have is what you see on the news where you'll see, and that's not really hologram, that's just an LED screen where you'll see the news reporter or really the weather reporter has a screen he can zoom in on the screen and look at the exact locations of the weather. Anyway, uh, place the laser's head, uh, place the laser's head upright from the hologram board for a sharper image, depending on the lighting angle. Bada bing, bada boom. The prospect of hologram. In a composite light composed of multiple wavelengths, um, only one really wavelength that is the light with the same wavelength as the recording light, light wave can achieve the maximum diffraction. All right, that's that's we don't need that. Here we go. Some practical CGH elements are fabricated, such as aber aberration correction for correcting the aberration of ordinary holographic elements. A laser scanner for realizing simultaneous high-speed scanning of multiple beams of light and a phase shifter for encoding in data storage. It is used for holographic lens which, with special function. Computer-generated holograph hologram can display the three-dimensional image of objects that can be displayed that can be easily described by numbers but are difficult to be actually made. That is, it can be displayed by hologram. CGH can also be used in optical detection and is standard wave and its standard wave front has higher precision. In recent years, holographic projection technology has made develops has developed as high tech. This technology interrupts the concepts of function and form as well as design and art and applies holographic projection technology to landscape design to explore new technical means. It can be seen from the development of holographic projection technology that high technology will be applied to all aspects of future life, especially in the application of environmental design. It, ha it has important breakthrough significance for the development of environmental design i.e. we have the ability to project a uh, environment in front of your face so what does it mean i can project an entire city in front of you we can plan a city on a computer i can project it and you can spin it around and look at it as if it's right in front of you this is not talking about something that can be done in the future this is something that's being done now so therefore when we start talking about project blue beam and black budget funding and government funding if you have the ability for a computer science department to do this this report came out of china too if i'm not mistaken let me see sourcey 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 where are you sourcey sources are important sources are important <laughs> Researchers Yan Li, Kuang Wu, Wu Wang, Sheng Jing Wei. Uh, published May 22. Can I see a PDF front of this? Wop, 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 wop. I'm going to mess them up. All right, here it is. Department of Mathematics and Computer Science at Tonglin University, Tonglin, Anghung, China. Correspondence should be addressed to Chang Xing Wei, Chang Xing at tlu.edu.cn. So this is coming out of China. All right, I'll tell you what: if they can do this in China, then it can be done in America. And the only issue that we face, quite frankly, is whether or not, um. The only issue that we face, face, quite frankly, is how much of a black budget is going into this and knowing the U.S. federal government and understanding our government, then, you know, a whole bunch of money went into this. So when people say when you tell somebody, hey, you know, Project Blue Beam will do this and they say, well, there's no such thing as Project Blue Beam. That's a conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy theory. There you go. No, I didn't find an official release documentation that was officially released from the CIA or DARPA about Project Blue Beam. Quite frankly, 
is that a holographic building? You know, why, why can't I see through that building? Well, damn, you can see through all them buildings. None of them buildings real. That's crazy. That's insane. Um, but just because I didn't find it in 15 minutes does not mean that it's not there. I just don't care to keep continuing to dig looking for it. If you know from academia that the technology has been available and it has been discovered on the academia side or the academic side, then you know the reason why it was discovered is because that there's government budgets that go into the research of it, whether it be through uh, NGOs, non-government organizations, or whether it is through official government funded school organizations now coming out of china we know it's a communist government so everything that they do is based on communism so that means that that technology is available to their government itself to their military and to everyone else because it's a chinese communist government and we also know that the chinese communist government communist government would not be what it is to this day if it wasn't for oh, the first black president the very first black president. No, I ain't talking about Obama. The one that they said was black before Obama. Who's the president that they said was black before Obama? The one that played the saxophone was like, and everybody's like, yeah, he the best president. He the black president. Then Obama came and nobody said he was black no more. I did not have sex with that woman. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> Man, I'm out of here.